I'm Jane Caro and I'm very pleased to be involved with the I Touch Myself project. I think that Chrissy Amphlett always touched me because we're probably similar generation and um, she was so different from all the women performers, uh, particularly of my youth, and she was inspiring because she was so defiant and she was so herself and she was so at ease with being female because back then when I was young, it was still intrinsically shameful to be female, particularly our bodily functions, you know. Um, masturbation, well that was something boys did, Good, nice girls didn't masturbate, or if you did, you didn't talk about it, never admitted it. Um, you know, you didn't pee in public. Guys did all the time, they'd have competitions, but ladies were ladies and didn't do stuff like that. And Chrissy Amphlett just said, and it was liberating and it was, it, it was liberating in the true sense because it took the shame away from having a female body. Nothing shameful about us. Our bodily functions are part of who we are. And they're fabulous and they're fine and they're human and they're reasonable. And she had that defiance that I think um, young women needed in uh, role models at that time, still need. I think that the way the song has transitioned is characteristic of all great art in that it has um, applicability across more than one subject and time. So that the core emotion of the song, which is I touch myself because I value myself, because I love myself, because I want to make myself feel good, because to give myself pleasure is a wonderful thing, nothing to be ashamed of, to protect myself is a wonderful thing, to take care of myself is a wonderful thing. I don't always have to be looking after other people. I can look after myself and also I can make myself feel things about the world. I can feel touched uh, as well as to touch myself. There's nothing wrong or shameful about the emotion, about the feeling, about the sexuality or about the vulnerability of the fact that you need to check yourself to make sure that there's no changes in your breasts and that, you know, that's fine too. There's also nothing embarrassing or shameful. And there used to be, there really was. People didn't talk about having breast cancer. Um, so it was all part of the whole. And I think great art is defined by the fact that it suddenly finds new relevance uh, depending on what's going on. And that's its, that's its stretchiness, its ability to express something that is forever relevant. And I think that that's what that song, I Touch Myself, has proved to do. And that's because it was revolutionary when it was written. It was taking women and who they could be and how they could be and how they could feel and what they could say and what they could express to a totally new place. The only thing I'd like to say is something about our breasts and how incredibly complicated our relationship is with our breasts. Um, they're the first thing that tell us that we're becoming a woman, you know, painfully. Those budding nipples hurt like hell. And it's the first time as a little girl you realise that this growing up thing ain't just going to be a transformation into a princess. It's going to hurt. It's a complicated relationship women have with their breasts. And um, we mustn't pretend they don't exist. We must be cognizant of the fact that, yeah, Breasts, maybe they do have a mind of their own. Maybe they do do things we don't want them to. But we have some control and we can keep um, on top of what's going on by getting familiar with them, knowing what they look like, knowing what they feel like, um, not just from within but from without. And um, in, in a way it's our job because there's people who depend on us staying alive, not just ourselves. So uh, we need to do it. And actually, they feel quite nice. It's really not bad. I do it in the shower, it's easy.